you know, it is, uh, it's just awfully good that someone with the temperament of Donald Trump is not in charge of the law in our country. Yeah. Because you'd be in jail. Secretary Clinton. Hello. The American people may be wondering who should they vote for? Who should they support? Hillary Clinton or Donald J. Trump? According to the media, all of the media, the mainstream media, your choice should be Hillary Clinton. Now, why should you vote for Hillary? The media <laughs> basically says, don't worry about why you should vote for Hillary. Instead, wonder about Trump and how evil Donald J. Trump is. But the fact is, who is the most dangerous? Who is the candidate that you, the American people, should be afraid of? When George W. Bush was in office, as bad as he was, he was not maniacal. He was not suicidal. George W. Bush had the United States of America on friendly terms with Russia. There was no Russia baiting under George W. Bush. Vladimir Putin was invited to the United States, to Bush's ranch. Now, under Democratic leadership, the American people are on the verge of nuclear war and total destruction. Does that sound like the Democrats have been good for the American people? There used to be this metric when you wanted to know who you should vote for. The question you should ask is, are you better off? Are you better off with Democrats in power than you would be with Donald Trump? The Republicans, as bad as they are, and most of them are still bad and not worth voting for. The Republicans had you at peace with Russia. The Democrats have you on a no-speaking relationship with Russia, no cooperation with Russia, the verge of nuclear war with Russia. This is what the Democrats have given you. Do you want more? Every major war, World War II, World War I, and now World War III, everyone comes under the Democrats. And you may say, well, why should we trust Trump? He's another politician. He could be playing another game. But the reason why Trump is not as dangerous as Hillary is A, Trump does not accuse Russia of doing anything to him. Trump does not accuse Russia of exposing his criminality the way Hillary does. Hillary Clinton, every single criminal act that she commits, she says, don't worry about that. Blame the Russians for exposing it. If the Russians are exposing her crimes, then we should say thank you to the Russians. No one in America under democratic rule has a problem with criminality. They have a problem with who exposes criminality. That is why don't care about how evil the Democrats are and how they steal the elections and how they think the American people are a basket of deplorables and basement dwellers. Don't worry about that. Worry about the fact that it's the, the Russians that are exposing the fact that they hate you. That's what matters. Don't worry about whether or not Hillary stole billions of dollars from Haiti. Don't worry about that. Worry about the Russians exposing it. Don't worry about Hillary's emails and all the top secrets that might have been leaked. Don't worry about that. 
worry about the Russians exposing the fact that no one wants to prosecute her for all, all her crimes. That's what you need to worry about. The people who expose the criminality, not the criminals themselves. That is why Edward Snowden is on the run. It doesn't matter that the U.S. government is spying on you illegally. That doesn't matter. What matters is Edward Snowden has the gall to expose it. Don't worry about U.S. soldiers murdering people in Iraq. Don't worry about that. Worry about Chelsea Manning exposing it. When a nation becomes totally criminal, the crime, the ultimate crime is exposing the criminality, not being a criminal. The fact is, because supposedly Russia exposes America's crimes, Russia is hated. Because Snowden exposes America's crimes, Snowden is hated. Because Manning exposes the criminality, Manning is hated. Because Assange exposes the criminality, Assange is hated. Don't you get it? Democrats are complete criminals. If you vote for Hillary, you are voting for complete criminality. You are voting to entrench criminality, to make it a crime not to be a criminal, but to expose criminality. A vote for Hillary is a vote for the status quo. A vote for only the truth tellers need to be afraid of the law. That is what you as a Democrat are voting for. And who killed Seth Rich anyway? Does it matter to you? Hillary said maybe we could drone strike Julian Assange and murder him. Does that bother you? Of course not. Hillary Clinton says that she's going to respond with nuclear, not nuclear, but she said military and all kinds of other actions against Russia for the hacks that she attributes to them. So are you willing to die in World War III out of disgust that Hillary Clinton's emails being exposed? Are you willing to die for that? If you're not, then how can you vote for that? Donald Trump has never threatened Russia a day in his life. He said we'll work with them. If you vote for Hillary, you want an enemy of a nuclear power. And for no reason. Other than maybe you wish to see ISIS behead people in Syria. Unless you wish to see another Muslim nation fall. That's the only reason you could support Hillary. Is if you want to see the world burn. If your God is the Joker. And all you want, as Wesley Clark said, is to destroy five nations in seven years, which, of course, Syria is on the list. This has to be your goal to vote for Hillary Clinton. You have to want to see the world burn, including the United States of America in a nuclear holocaust. The media is completely behind Hillary. Wow. Then you have to wonder who controls the media, the people who want Five nations destroyed in seven years. The synagogue of Satan controls the media. They are totally behind her. And that's why everything she does is okay. They don't care that she supports the very same wars that they were against under George Bush. They don't care about that now. They want every war that George Bush wanted and more because Hillary is the one in charge of winning these wars now. Nothing matters now. As long as Hillary is, as Hillary is in charge, everything's okay. World War III, the death of 90% of people on earth, that's okay. Now see, that's cool with the people in the media, but unless you're one of them and have a place in a bunker guaranteed, do not vote for this lady. Hillary is not going to invite you into her bunker. She is going to start a war to get you killed. Is it worth it? And if you're lucky... If Hillary decides to have mercy on you and not start World War III and get you killed, her plan is to have you enslaved under the TPP, under which you will have complete corporate rule of your nation. You will have no rights. Your government will be under the rule of corporations to decide what is law. You will no longer be able to march to protest for any redress of grievances again. Your constitution will be totally dead under Hillary Clinton, a complete globalist. Do you want that? Do you want to be a TPP slave? 
Hillary is the choice of the people who wish to destroy you under the TPP, which Trump opposes. Trump opposes the TPP. He opposes the rule of the United Nations over American citizens. He opposes conflict with Russia. Does these sound like bad things to you? Oh, but Trump is a racist. I don't think so. The most racist thing in the world is World War III, under which all races will be destroyed, which if you support Hillary, you support yourself. And finally, do you realize that the Hillary Clinton campaign sees the American people as unaware, as unaware and submissive, docile creatures. That is how they see you. Check WikiLeaks. Don't believe me. Check WikiLeaks. They see you as docile slaves. Does that bother you? Do you have any self-esteem at all? You have a choice. Either support Donald Trump and give him a chance or else you can either be killed in World War III under Hillary, or if she feels merciful, she'll simply allow you to live out your life as a slave under the TPP total corporate rule. Why do you think Hillary gets 20 to 1 donorship from the rich? The rich are not donating to Trump because Trump opposes what they want. Hillary Clinton will enslave you or get you killed in World War III. That is what you are supporting if you support Hillary Clinton. If you do not believe me, look up Hillary Clinton World War III. You have to vote as if your life depends on it because it does. And for people who believe in God or pretend to, you have to look at Revelation and what it says about the great whore of Babylon who will ride on the beast that rules the world and that she will be destroyed in one hour. Her destruction will be in one hour. Does that sound to you like something that is more likely to happen under Hillary or under Donald Trump? Who do you think the whore of Babylon is more likely to refer to? Donald J. Trump or Hillary Clinton, the person who's completely for sale under the Hillary Clinton Foundation? Who do you think is advocating war, nuclear war, which would give credence to the biblical claim that Babylon will be destroyed in one hour. The nuclear war that the Democrats are pushing with Russia gives you every reason to see how the Bible could prophesy America's destruction in one hour. If you wish to press to see a nation that has become totally like the New World Sodom and Gomorrah, under the leadership of Hillary Clinton to see just how much the Bible is true. If you want to see if America really is Babylon, then vote for Hillary. But if you read the Bible and believe it, you know that Hillary Clinton is the leader of Babylon that Revelation describes. It cannot be Donald Trump. So please read your Bibles. Look into your heart. Know that under the Democrats, America has become completely insane. The media has become totally corrupt, totally one-sided, cannot be trusted to tell the truth about anything. Everything is biased, anti-Trump, even though Trump is the only one who wants peace with Russia. He's the only one who wants to secure your borders. The only one committed to the First and Second, Commend First and Second Amendments. He is the only one. Look into your hearts and pray. So, I mean, that is the land of unconfirmed voters. Yes, we came, we saw, <laughs> he died. <laughs> did it have anything to do with your visit? No, I'm sure it did. <laughs>